Hello everyone and thank you much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video we'll show you how using only Samsung Dex you can record and edit videos like gameplay and tutorial while using your Galaxy device front facing camera to record your face and USB mic will be used to record my voiceover. Let's begin. So what you see in front of you is just basically my setup. I have the ultra wide monitor connected to my Galaxy Tab S6. And same time I have my USB Rode mic connected to USB-C hub, which is connects all my Samsung DeX inputs. So first thing, let's get myself a sample video done. Before I'm gonna do any sample video, I need to clap two, three times just to be able to sync audio and video. So that's what I'm gonna do. Not loud, but just enough for microphone to pick up and obviously see my hands doing action in the front facing camera to sync the video and the Rode mic. Next thing, I obviously need to sync the screen recorder of a Samsung DeX while I'm doing this. So usually what I suggest to do, just twist your Galaxy device around, minimize the window, that's it. And then obviously minimizing frame by frame, I can minimize this and this, or sync the screen recorder and this in sync or put in sync. Then I can do this and the microphone is sync because I've done a free, two, three times clap. So now what we need to do is get all this saved. So I'm just gonna stop screen recorder. I'm gonna stop uh, front facing camera recording. So right now we have all the video footage done. Next step is obviously getting everything edited. So that's what we're gonna do now. First step before I'm gonna do anything, I need to gather all this video footage into one place. So let's go straight away into my, some of my files. One thing I know that screen recorder saves videos inside the movies folder and it should be ADV screen recorder. Click on that and that's only one is in there, five megabytes in size. I'm just gonna say move. And we're gonna move into uh, download section, just because it's easier gonna be to pick it up. Here we go, move in there. So I'm gonna delete the videos that I don't need anymore. This was just me trying some bits earlier. So here we go, this is my video. And I'm moving into the downloads folder because it's easier to pick it up and it's inside the internal storage because some of the apps that I'm about to use might work or might not work with external audio, external storage. I just don't wanna go and risk it. So I have this one in. Next thing, I need to go into videos, go into a camera, and this is me doing all this clapping and stuff. I'm gonna say move, go into favorites, go into the whole section, and move in here. So I have my screen recorder and I have my front-facing camera all in one place. Next thing, I need to extract the audio for my front-facing camera because that's where the road mic reads, or that's where the audio from the road mic, USB mic, goes into. If I, while I connect my road mic to my Samsung Tech setup and I'm using front-facing camera, that's, uh, video file is getting the audio track from this this mic and this mic is much much better than built-in one so that's what we're going to use to extract the audio from my front facing camera footage i'm going to use the app called mp3 video converter you can use any android app that does the same thing uh, it's nothing special for me using this so i'm going to click on this this is the video that i'm about to use click on that choose mp3 change location to download. So I'm gonna go back and just dump straight away into download section. Okay, this is the audio file. So instead of this, I'm gonna say voice over. So I'm gonna rename this to voice over, click okay, click convert. The process or the length of this process will depend obviously how long the video audio file is you are converting. If you record like half an hour footage or something, obviously it's gonna take longer. So here we go, I have my screen recorder. I have my front facing camera and I have my voiceover. But obviously voiceover might have some of the background noise that I don't really want to be in my end result and footage. So the app we're gonna use is called Mixpad Free to remove the, all the background noise. Let's turn this off, right. Uh, this is a Mixpad app. I already done a video about this app a couple of weeks ago or so. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go and check that out. Click on clip, click on load. Inside there, I'm gonna say voiceover. I'm gonna click okay. It loads the audio track of the front facing camera that but is already exported. So here we go, this is all me talking and yapping, etc. I need to just zoom in a bit using a mouse wheel and I'm gonna pick this portion of the track. Uh, this portion of the track where I'm not talking, so I'm allowing Mike to record everything what's around me. Just me being quiet, but recording ambient noise. So while they select, I'm gonna click on tools, I'm gonna click on clean up clip. Grab noise sample from selected area, click on that. Once that's done, I, make, I wanna make sure that all track is selected. Go back to, into a cleanup clip. Spectral subtraction based on noise sample, click on that and here we go. This is right now what's happening is I have a noise sample and this is being applied across all the track and now I have all the track should be cleaned. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna have a, a little bit of listen. So we're gonna press play. Uh, me doing all bits, etc. that's fine. 
Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and in this video I'll show you how you can... Okay, this is working. So if I'm going to go here, that's where the track is being used. So I'm going to click on here and press play. Not loud, but just enough for microphone to pick up and obviously see my hands doing action. Okay, it's a bit loud, but that's fine. We can do a bit of post-processing afterwards. So this is what the track is. I'm going to click on the free hamburger menu. Click on the export project as audio file. Click on that. Make sure I'm selecting the downloads folder, which is not the music. I want to select the downloads folder. We're going to go into downloads. Click uh, here and rename this to uh, something that's going to be like voice over done. So I know that this is the exactly one that I've done mp3 and then click export so right now the cleaned up audio is being exported into the audio file and that's great so this is almost done uh, okay click ok let's close this app so right now if i'm going to go back into favorites click on the download section so i have a screen recorder done i have my front facing camera done i have my voiceover done and i clean my voiceover done now we need to go and put all this together. This time I'm going to use an app called KineMaster. I'm going to load everything in there. Let's wait for KineMaster to load. Okay, I'm using the free version of the KineMaster. Uh, and that's why I'm going to get a couple of ads and stuff. I'm going to delete this. This was just a trial thing I was doing before the video. So let's click next. Okay, inside the downloads folder, this is where all the stuff is. First, I need to add the base video. A base video usually is your screen recorder file. So that's the one we're going to click on here. Problem might be while the editing, this message means that the file format or encoding might be not supported by KineMaster. So clipping and cutting the video file might be a bit uh, problematic and I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to go to the front and we're going to say, oops, I don't need this. Let's delete. So this is the screen recorder, which is great. I'm going to just go and say, add the layer and the media. Come on, click on uh, the media, go back into the download section. That's what I was talking about, download section. It's easy to find, it's one folder. When I'm done, I can delete, move the video footage off there with no problem. So here we go. This is me yapping into this camera, what you see right now. Let's wait for this to move into here. So this is roughly where I'm gonna start clapping. So this is my first clap, boom. Here we go. This is my first clap. So I'm going to press D to cut. Select this and press delete. Now inside the screen recorder, I need to find where I minimize the thing. Here we go. So this is where I minimize on the screen. This is that place. I'm going to click D. When you, when you're selecting this, you see the dotted line follows around the, the, the pin. And that's where the cut will happen. As you can see, I'm aligned with this location, but it wants to cut here. And that's what I was telling you about the incompatibility between the files. So we're gonna just say, uh, actually it's very, very in line. As you can see, this is like a, a couple of couple of frames. So that is actually very, very in line. Let's go in here. And we see that's where the cut is happening. It don't want to do the cut at the location where I want. And this all depends how the video is being recorded and what screen recorder app you're using. But this is not a big deal when you recorded a lengthy video, like 20, 30 minutes or so. Then this pin, you can sort of do a bit of like cut, cut scenes, B-rolls, etc., and it's gonna be masked, masked, um, masked, that's the word, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to cut it, cut it here. And let's move that over there. So I have my, uh, claps. I have my uh, screen recorder. Now thing I need to click on audio, click on the folders, click the load and voiceover done. Click on that. Here we go. So that's done. I'm going to move over. So this is the beginning when I'm talking and this somewhere here should be me clapping. Device around. Okay. This is a bit too loud. Let's go back and re reduce the volume of my face cam. And now let's click on this and go into volume. And I'm just going to reduce this to about 45%. Let's see how it goes. Let's begin. So what you see in front of you is basically my setup. I'm happy. Okay. Yeah. That's me introducing things. Same time. I have my USB road. Yes. Thank you. Uh, input. So first thing, let's get myself a sample video done before I'm going to do any sample. Okay. This is why I'm clapping. Probably. Come on. Huh? Okay, I can cut it here because I know it's not the stuff on the on the left hand side. 
Let's drag this one in. Let's let's play it. Sample video done. Before I'm gonna do any sample video, I need to clap two, three times just to be able to sync audio and video. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. This is the first clap somewhere here. Let's double check. We're gonna do. Yes. So I'm just gonna uh, cut it by here. Okay. Uh, move this one a bit closer to this location. And let's see what's happened. Not loud, but just enough for microphone to pick up and obviously. Here we go. If I'm going to click on the front facing camera, as you can see, volume is, I'm going to click on this, is muted. And if I click on this, volume is, I think, at 40%, 45, 45%. And that's the audio track I'm using. So I was using front facing camera to record my face with the Rode mic being as a voiceover input, then using Mixpad app to export the file, clean up the file and put that file back in. And now that's what I'm using. Uh, obviously you can tweak a bit more. So if I'm gonna go just, uh, actually everything is synced should be. Let's go. Samsung Dex while I'm doing this. So usually what I suggest to do, just twist your Galaxy device around. Minimize the window. That's it. And very well, very well. I, the sync between the front-facing camera and the screen record is very almost precise. So that's well, very good. And right now, when I have these three tracks, which is uh, the screen recorder, the fr uh, face cam, and the audio track, I can play around with all these three doing a post-editing. I can, let's say, I want cut it here and make this this face cam uh, the output show up here. I can click on here and let's say move this one here so right now it's just gonna go like this of the samsung dex while i'm doing this so usually what i suggest to do just twist your galaxy device around minimize the window that's it and then obviously i can go uh cut it somewhere here just to just above my head and make this one by one ratio maybe add the mask this is one of the features that kai master has other video editing apps not sure if it's gonna do so right now, if I'm gonna go from here, minimize around, minimize the window. That's it. And then obviously minimizing frame by frame, I can minimize. So move it there. Want to done more video and want to share this with the entire world. For example, using a camera. So when I edit a video using camera, I click on this icon to the top right, select 1080p, 30 fps, 30 frames per second. Obviously high or low. As you can see, uh, 12 megabits per second is of somewhere around the uh, the. The bit rate that I'm using, click export and uh, gives me a message. Do you want to remove the watermark? I'm going to say no, that's fine with the watermark. And I'm exporting a video and I'm about to basically take this video and upload to YouTube, Facebook, whatever, send it by Instagram, Reddit, etc. etc. So, this is how you can use Samsung Dex to do all of this with just Samsung Dex. Uh, screen record the screen record, the uh, it's just doing an ad. <laughs> No, thank you. No more ads. So this is how you can use Samsung Dex. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Screen recording using ADV screen recorder app or something alternative. Then using a front facing camera of your Galaxy device to record your face and get the mic connected into a headphone jack. If your Galaxy device has a jack, the headphone jack or use Bluetooth, uh, use not Bluetooth, use USB mic, something like this. This is a Rode NT USB mic, which works perfectly with my Samsung Dex setup. So I hope this video is useful for you. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about all this. Is this will be useful for you? If it's not, if it's a overkill, it's just very amazing that this is possible. Anyway, enough yapping. Thank you much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what I do in this channel. I record I dumb, I record videos about pushing Samsung Dex as much as I can, just to go to a limit and beyond of what Samsung Dex can do for you. Thank you much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these kind of content videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.